Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to save radio button values into SQL Server database using MVC. And here we got the output of that code. The employee name is a text box control and the gender male and female are the radio buttons and one button insert record. Before enter the values, let's check my database table. Right now this table contains zero rows. I'm adding the values. The employee name is Charan and the gender male insert record. A record saved successfully. Now the second employee name Samantha she's female insert record and Samantha record saved successfully in the database. I'm executing this statement see here we got the results the employee name is Charan gender male Samantha female if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in MVC first let's check the my database table and the column names I just logged into Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio I'm expanding the databases the sample DB is my user database I'm expanding that one the tables and the table name is the reg EMP let's browse the table right click select top thousand rows and we got the results of this reg EMP table right now in this table contains zero rows for the radio button the column I'm using for the radio button is the gender male and female let's open the visual studio for this video tutorial I have created a new project go to solution explorer and the project name is the insert radio values MVC the first I am adding the class in the models folder right click the models add class and the class name is insert radio class add now in this insert class I am creating the properties public string I have two columns one is the employee name and the second one is the gender EMP name get set and the second property for the gender public string gender get set after adding the properties go to solution explorer I am creating a controller in this controllers folder right click the controllers add controller I am choosing MVC file controller empty add the controller name is radio add Now in this controller I am adding the namespaces of SQL server using system dot data dot SQL client using system dot data using system dot configuration the last namespace I'm adding the radio class using the project name is the insert radio value mvc dot models after adding the namespaces now I'm creating a new action result for the index method which is for HTTP post HTTP post we are posting the data public action result index return view method now, now in this index method I am adding 
my class name is the insert radio class IR is the object now we'll add the SQL server data source in the web.config file go to server explorer right click the data connections add connection the server name is and I'm selecting the database name which is a sample DB test connection okay okay and notice here in the data connections we have added the sample db.dbo but we need the data source of this sample db right click that one properties connection string just copy the data source the whole part solution explorer come to the bottom web.config file open that one and here the connection strings the connection string I'm deleting the default data source I'm pasting that one the data source switch back to the radio controller.cs string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding my connection string name which is a default connection dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes a parameter main con string SQL query is equals to insert into the table name is dbo.regemp copy this one paste here employee name and the second column name is a gender values at emp name comma at gender sql command sql com is equals to new sql command which takes two parameters one is the sql query the second one is a connection string sql com SQL connection dot open method SQL command dot parameters dot add with value at EMP name comma here the object value is IR IR dot employee name copy this paste here at gender dot gender SQL command dot execute non query method SQL connection dot close method after insert the record successfully I want to display the message for that I'm using view data message is equals to record saved successfully that's it the coding part in the controller I'll right click the index add view The view name index I'm leaving as it is because the action result is the index only and the template I'm creating model class. My model class is an insert radio class. This one. And in the options, make sure the reference script libraries is checked. Add. And here we got the index.cshtml, which is a view page the controls are added automatically 
but what I'm doing is I'm deleting this HTML editor for the gender instead of that I'm at HTML dot radio button the string name is the string name is the gender comma and the second parameter object value which I want to store M capital M is for the mail copy that one paste here instead of M I am adding F female and I am changing the input submit button value to insert record and after this div tag I am adding the view data message h2 at html dot view data message that's it we don't need to change anything but before run this project on browser the final step is go to solution explorer expand the app underscore start route config.cs file open that one and notice the controller name is a home which is a default one I'm deleting that and I'm adding my controller name is a radio and action result page is the index only switch to the index.css html let's check the results on the google chrome and here we got the output of that code the employee name is a text box control and the gender male and female are the radio buttons and one button insert record before enter the values let's check my database table right now this table contains zero rows I'm adding the values the employee name is Charan and the gender male insert record the record saved successfully now the second employee name Samantha she's female insert record and Samantha record saved successfully in the database I'm executing this statement see here we got the results the employee name is Charan gender male Samantha female 